Let's go to Fremantle now where those strong winds overnight caused ships in the port to break their moorings. One cargo ship smashing into the railway bridge. Ben Hennessy is there this morning and Ben, it's lucky no one was hurt last night. Yeah, Tim, good morning once again. Certainly very lucky that no one was heard. We uh, have gone to take a look at the ship involved this morning. That's the AAL Fremantle. Now, when we uh, took a look at the ship, you could see visible damage to the uh, back right corner of the ship, and one would think that was caused uh, when it collided with the Fremantle Railway Bridge uh, behind me. But certainly taking a look at the ship, it measures almost 150 metres in length, and it doesn't take a great deal for something of that size to do damage. But uh, as I said, lucky that no crew uh, were injured in this, but it's also worth noting that uh, train services were still running at the time this incident uh, occurred, so certainly just lucky that uh, there were no trains uh, on the railway bridge uh, at the time uh, that this collision occurred. And as I've said earlier, we spoke to one witness that described uh, how the conditions were here last night and how bad they were. Uh, we had winds of up to about 60 kilometres an hour uh, and uh, he said he heard a very loud bang until he found the, the ship uh, was basically banging up against the, uh, the bridge and uh, we can see the damage behind us now. He said there were sparks coming out from the, the wires above, but um, certainly a lot of damage and a lot of cleaning up to do. So Ben, what happens from here on in as far as getting that bridge up and running again? Uh, we're expecting the PTA to come out here this morning. We haven't seen them uh, at this stage, but we understand they were also here last night. Obviously, they'll be looking, uh, one, to get the, uh, the wiring back up, uh, but also to look at the structural integrity of the bridge to make sure that's all OK. And then uh, the next step also, the Fremantle Port Authority said they will be launching uh, an investigation to try and figure out exactly why this has occurred and uh, stop it from happening in the future. Tim.